Welcome to Great Bear Tales, an authentic look at the people, places, and stories of the Great Bear Rainforest. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. The Spirit Bear Lodge is a community-owned business. It's 100% owned by the Kitasu Heheis people. It's really an amazing wildlife wonderland, and so that in, com in combination with the culture makes it a really extraordinary proposition for people from around the world. Despite its moniker, Spirit Bear Lodge is far from just about Kermode bears. This is prime West Coast grizzly bear habitat, and nowhere is the grizzly conservation movement more alive than in Klemtu and the Great Bear. So this is our, um, our watchman cabin. So we get our uh, guys to go do the um, patrols and monitor the area. But um, these guys are specifically for the uh, watchman program to monitor the traffic that come in and out of here. So the commercial tourism operators and the private operators that come through. Um, just making sure that they abide by our management plans and making sure they're not displacing any bears. Calm waters and untouched ridge lines, the Mussel Inlet area is the traditional home of the Heihei's and some of the finest grizzly viewing on Earth. So, uh, so we're just gonna load up and then we're gonna go around the corner or uh, on the other side there and um, we'll anchor the boat and we'll, we'll go for a walk up and hopefully um, get some good bear viewing at the bottom. Uh, we'll probably wait it out for an hour or so and we'll see if any bears will come out and, um, but we'll look for a good place to sit down and um, yeah, just be, be predictable and the bears are gonna know where we're gonna be and, wait her out. Yeah, and we'll wait it out. Perfect, let's do her. Okay. A little bit of the history of this place, um, um, of course, you know, Klemtu has um, two, the two nations, the Kirisu and the Kekes. So the, this area is occupied by the Kekes um, uh, because of the, the resources and the salmon and um, just all the wildlife and the game that come through here. All right, just landed our dinghy outside here. This is the Mussel River behind me. Some of the finest grizzly bear viewing on the west coast. So we are in uh, Mussel Inlet, um, otherwise known as Laic in our language. So Mussel is one of the um, kind of one of the prime, one of our prime viewing areas for grizzly bears, but originally a village site for the Kekes people. So today we're going to go, um, we're going to go for a walk up the river a bit and hopefully see some grizzly bears up there. This time of year, because um, there's still a lot of vegetation around. Um, all the bears are still in the estuaries digging up all the roots and eating all the sedge grass. So the salmon are moving in, so once the berries start to fall off, um, that's when the bears will switch their diet to, to the salmon and what they've been waiting for. Really heavily used, heavily used trail. So any bear that comes down or comes down the mountain or goes to feed on the vegetation, they all use the same trail. Um, sometimes as they're rubbing, they'll turn around and they'll bite the tree or they'll claw the tree <clears throat> and see all the bite marks. But when it gets warm, all the uh, sap just kind of oozes through and then um, also the sap just captures all the fur too. We're partnered with uh, Uvic and, um, uh, and their lab and they'll put the fur in like little envelopes and send them out to, um, to the lab in Victoria. So like, they'll do the research in the springtime to understand how much they ate the season before. Usually when you find um, bear rub trees, you find kind of a stomp trail. So you can see a little bit of the impressions here. Bears, as they're walking through, so as the bears are walking through, they'll twist their pads and they'll step in the exact same spots on the way through. Almost every time you see um, these pad marks, um, they'll be next to uh, rub trees. So it's kind of a territorial thing when the bears start coming down. It's always interesting when you come across them. We're right smack dab in the heart of the Spirit Bear Conservancy. This is an area that was set aside in the 1990s to protect Spirit Bear habitat. Uh, and we're right next door to Fjordland Recreation Area, which was habitat set aside for grizzly bears. And so all around us, literally um, you know, on our doorstep, is some of the most magnificent wildlife anywhere in the world.
Thanks for watching Great Bear Tales. If you have any comments, questions, tips for visitors, or just want to share your own story from the Great Bear Rainforest, please leave them below. We read every post. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Great Bear Tales channel. It really does make a difference.